In addition to its responsibility to balance inflation and unemployment, the Federal Reserve faces another challenge, stabilizing a shaky banking system. A central bank will decide today whether to raise interest rates or hit the pause button. Amy Liu is in Washington. Well, Destiny economists expect the Fed to announce another interest rate hike, but at a more modest quarter of a percent. That's in light of the recent chaos in the banking industry. That would push the benchmark rate to its highest in 16 years. The Fed will also have to factor in recent bank failures and the impact of their interest rates on cash poor banks. Many small to medium sized banks are hanging on to cash, which may slow down consumer lending. Some economists worry that quick slowdown could tip the economy into recession. But Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen reassured bankers yesterday the government is prepared to support banks as needed. Our intervention was necessary to protect the broader U.S. banking system. And similar actions could be warranted if smaller institutions suffered deposit runs that posed the risk of contagion. Despite uncertainty in the banking sector, hiring remains strong, unemployment is historically low, and year-to-year inflation is falling. In Washington, I'm Amy Liu, WIFF News 4. A strike has forced public schools in Los Angeles to shut down. The Los Angeles Unified School District is the second largest school district in the country. Tens of thousands of workers in the school district walked off the job yesterday over stalled contract talks. The union represents teachers, aides, bus drivers, custodians, and cafeteria workers. However, teachers joined in with them uh, in solidarity there. The strike is planned for three days as they demand a 30% pay increase. The strike comes as the school superintendent, or school district superintendent rather, accused the union of refusing to negotiate. TikTok announced on Tuesday that it now has more than 150 million American users. It comes as federal officials demand the Chinese owners of the app to sell their stake in it or risk facing a ban in the United States. The ultimatum follows years of negotiations with TikTok and it reflects growing national security concerns about the social media platform among U.S. lawmakers. The fear is the app could be infiltrated by the Chinese government to spy on American users or to gain access to U.S. user data. This will come as no surprise to allergy sufferers. Greenville is among the top 10 cities for seasonal allergies. The Asthma and Allergy Foundation of America came out with the list this year. Greenville was named number 10, number one, Wichita, Kansas. But Florida had three cities in the top 10, Sarasota, Cape Coral, and Orlando. AAFA ranked the top 100 most populated metro areas impacted by seasonal allergies. The report looked at tree, grass, and weed pollen scores, over-the-counter allergy medicine use, and the availability of board-certified allergists. It's 654 and a major donation for Plaza that will serve as a memorial for first responders and military veterans who have made the ultimate sacrifice. The Philip J. Carlton Memorial Plaza will be located at the base of an honor tower, which will soon be built in Unity Park in Greenville. Philip Carlton served in the military during World War II. In 1996, he moved to Greenville and opened Carlton Motor Cars. He also established the 100 Club of Greater Greenville after the death of Greenville police officer Russ Soro. The club supports police, firefighters, and their families across the upstate. Construction of the Thomas and Vivian A. Wong Tower Honor Tower is being scheduled to begin this year. We're told the Memorial Plaza will be used for public ceremonies, memorials, and tributes. All right, here's a happy update for you this morning. That well-loved stuffed animal, which was left behind at GSP, has been reunited with its owner. United Airlines employee Carol Rabel says the stuffed animal, identified as Pete the Pig, was left behind on a nighttime flight that was coming in last week. This is video of Pete searching for his owner that you just saw and enjoying his time at the airport. Rabel turned to Facebook to find Pete's owner. That post was shared hundreds of times. We've learned that Pete the pig belonged to a seven-year-old boy named Brewer. And as you can see, he is thrilled to have his friend back. We love to see it.